them in a day in May. It's Star Stuff Week. I'm Caitlin Hoffmeister, and I produce a group of science channels on YouTube called SciShow, and I co-host SciShow Space. I'm also a writer and a podcaster and a longtime fan of Element a Day in May. If you've been keeping up with it this year, then you know that last week was Mythical Elements Week. And mythical elements are pretty amazing. I mean, vibranium comes from space and can be made into an alloy to make things like shields. You can also derive adamantium from it and make people indestructible. Mostly. Tritanium is an important metal for making things like spacecraft, and mithril is a light metal that's gray and shiny. I love mythical stories, but I think my favorite thing about mythical elements is they help highlight just how weird actual elements are, like magnesium. Magnesium is also gray and shiny, so take that, mithril. And while mythical elements are usually super rare, magnesium is the ninth most abundant element in the universe and the eleventh most abundant by mass in the human body. It's also the third most common metal used in construction, and it's known as the lightest useful metal. Alloyed with aluminum, magnesium can be used to make things like vehicles or cans. And Captain America's prop shield is probably made with a magnesium aluminum alloy. Just saying. Magnesium also plays a key role in chlorophyll, which helps plants get energy from the sun which is super mythical. And since we learned that adamantium is sort of letting Wolverine down, he should probably just take a bath in some magnesium and his healing powers will be back. The healing powers of magnesium were discovered in 1618 when a farmer in Epsom, England couldn't get his cows to drink from the bitter water on his land. The water had magnesium sulfate in it and the farmer noticed that it helped heal cuts and rashes. And of course he tasted it and turns out it was a really great laxative. And the best part of any mythical figure is its origin story and magnesium is born out of a specific kind of old, large star. From there, it spread out into the rest of the universe when those stars explode in supernovas. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Jesse, for organizing this awesome series every May. You can find more of me at youtube.com slash scishowspace or justfinepodcast.com, and you can find more of Jesse and Everyday Science by hitting the subscribe button, and you can find more magnesium all around you. Element a day in May.